A reading from Your Faith is Your Fortune, chapter 7, Thy Will Be Done. We're going to read this and then do a short meditation on this message. Not my will, but thine be done. This resignation is not one of blind realization that I can of myself do nothing. The Father within me, he doeth the work. When man wills, he attempts to make something which does not now exist appear in time and space. Too often we are not aware of that which we are really doing. We unconsciously state that we do not possess the capacities to express. We predicate our desire upon the hope of acquiring the necessary capacities in future time. I am not, but I will be. Man does not realize that consciousness is the father which does the work. So he attempts to express that which he is not conscious of being. Such struggles are doomed to failure. Only the present expresses itself. Unless I am conscious of being that which I seek, I will not find it. God, your awareness, is the substance and fullness of all. God's will is the recognition of that which is, not of that which will be. Instead of seeing the saying as, Thine will be done, see it as, Thy will is done. The works are finished. The principle by which all things are made visible is eternal. Eyes have not seen nor ears heard, neither hath it entered into the hearts of men the things which God hath prepared for those who love the law. When a sculptor looks at a formless piece of marble, he sees buried within its formless mass his finished piece of art. The sculptor, instead of making his masterpiece, merely reveals it by removing that part of the marble which hides its conception. The same applies to you. In your timeless awareness lies buried all that you will ever conceive yourself to be. The recognition of this truth will transform you from an unskilled laborer who tries to make it so to a great artist who recognizes it to be so. Your claim that you are now that which you want to be will remove the veil of human darkness and reveal your claim perfectly. I am that. God's will was expressed in the words of the widow, it is well. Man's will would have been, it will be well. To state, I shall be well, is to say, I am ill. God the eternal now is not mocked by words or vain repetition. God continually personifies that which is. Thus the resignation of Jesus, who made himself equal with God, was turning from the recognition of lack, which the future indicates with, I shall be, to the recognition of supply by claiming, I am that, it is done. Thank you, Father. Now you will see the wisdom in the words of the prophet when he states, Let the weak say, I am strong. Joel 3.10 Man in his blindness will not heed the prophet's advice. He continues to claim himself to be weak, poor, wretched, and all other undesirable expressions from which he is trying to free himself by ignorantly claiming that he will be free from these characteristics in the expectancy of the future. Such thoughts thwart the one law that can ever free him. There is only one door through which that which you seek can enter your world. I am the door. When you say, I am, you are declaring yourself to be first person, present tense. There is no future. To know that I am is to be conscious of being. Consciousness is the only door. Unless you are conscious of being that which you seek, you seek in vain. If you judge after appearances, you will continue to be enslaved by the evidence of your senses. To break this hypnotic spell of the senses, you are told, go within and shut the door. The door of the senses must be tightly shut before your new claim can be honored. Closing the door of the senses is not as difficult as it appears to be at first. It is done without effort. It is impossible to serve two masters at the same time. The master man serves is that which he is conscious of being. I am Lord and master of that which I am conscious of being. It is no effort for me to conjure poverty if I am conscious of being poor. My servant, poverty, is compelled to follow me, conscious of poverty, as long as I am the Lord, conscious of being poor. 
Instead of fighting against the evidence of the senses, you claim yourself to be that which you desire to be. As your attention is placed on this claim, the doors of the senses automatically close against your former master, that which you were conscious of being. As you become lost in the feeling of being, that which you are now claiming to be true of yourself, the doors of the senses once more open, revealing your world to be the perfect expression of that which you are conscious of being. Let us follow the example of Jesus who realized, as man, he could do nothing to change his present picture of lack. He closed the door of his senses against his problem and went to his Father, the one to whom all things are possible. Having denied the evidence of his senses, he claimed himself to be all that, a moment before, his senses told him he was not. Knowing that consciousness expresses its likeness on earth, he remained in the claimed consciousness until the doors, his senses, opened and confirmed the rulership of the Lord. Remember, I am is Lord of all. Never again use the will of man which claims, I will be. Be as resigned as Jesus and claim, I am that. We will go back to the idea of shutting the door. As he said, go within and shut the door. The door of the senses must be tightly shut before your new claim can be honored. Closing the door of the senses is not as difficult as it appears to be at first. It is done without effort. So let us go inward and shut the door to the senses of fear or lack or doubt and make way for the senses of freedom, of abundance, of peace. And to do that, you effortlessly just close your eyes and allow. Let's allow go within to the kingdom that is within you and start to slow down the thoughts of any lack, of any fear, of any doubt and open the door to righteousness open the door to consciousness imagine the already finished creation within you just as Neville says when a sculptor looks at a formless piece of marble he sees buried within its formless mass his finished piece of art we go within and know that the finished piece of art is already alive within us. And all we do is feel into that knowing. You are the great artist by becoming aware of your already created perfection that is you and the wholeness that is within you. So with your eyes closed, continue to meditate on Neville Goddard's words. Become lost in the feeling of being that which you are now claiming to be true of yourself. Go within and allow it to manifest into your world. Feel into your wish fulfilled. Breathe in and breathe out, relaxing in this moment of knowing. In this moment of peace. In this moment of stillness. Thy will is done. feeling more and more relaxed and more and more at peace as you tightly shut the door against your former master. Consciousness is the only door.
he remained in the claimed consciousness until the doors, his senses, opened and confirmed the rulership of the Lord. Remember, I am is Lord of all. Never again use the will of man which claims I will be. Be as resigned as Jesus and claim, I am that. When you are ready, you can come back to the now and open your eyes.